hello friends today we discuss about the file permission in linux and how we secure files from unauthorized access hello this is rajender So objective is the familiar with the file permission in Linux and how to keep users file secure from unauthorized access. So starting from file permission in a multi user environment like Linux, Unix, it is become very important for the user to keep their file secure. Each user belong to a particular group and it may be owner group and others three type of users are there first one is owner who create a particular file for example i am creating a particular file then i am the user of that particular file so i how this is i can show you the with the command so here i am creating a file particular file cat and then the new file dot txt that's file enter pass write some character in this file for example hello and then yes look this file new file dot txt same way we can also create directories like mkdir and the directory name new directory so this way we can create directory next is who can create a file is the owner of that particular group each user belong to a particular group is known as a group and also a user can also access to other group so this comes under the category of other so in linux there are three type of users and we can also categorize different type of permission the main permission are read reading particular file permission and then second is write also known as we can say is the modify and last one is a to run a particular program we have the permission or not this is the execute permission or run permission so how we can display particular file permission this is the command ls space hyphen l so ls space hyphen l so these are some of the files and directory on desktop so look at the new directory just we created these are the file permission first d so when we create a particular directory so first character in total of 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 total 10 character so first character is d d for directory and when we create a particular file new file dot txt this is the new file dot txt so first character is hyphen so in case of normal files on any executable files like c o the first character is a hyphen and in case of directory first character is d next we discuss about the other character like 9 r w x r w x so we can also check a particular file a in this command we can see that lots of files are there and what are their file permission we can also check specific file we and their permission with the second command that is the ls uh, space hyphen ld and then the file name just like we can also check here ls space hyphen ld and the file name for example new file 
dot txt so same these are the file permission because this is a particular file so hyphen is there so these are the commands to check the file permission now there are total 10 character in a file permission associated with all types of file and directory first in case of directory it is d and next is same 9 rwx read write execute read write execute first three character for the user who create a particular file then the second three character read write execute for the group and these last three for the other so if we want to give permission it means we have to plus sign we have to put particular uh, sign plus sign and in case we deny particular permission then in that situation we have the hyphen or dash symbol here so how we can change particular file permission so look at this particular file in case of new file dot txt these are the file permission rwx it means in case of new file dot txt we have just read write permission for the user or it is the default permission rw rw and then uh, uh, for the other there is no permission for the write and execute so if you want to change the permission with all all user user and the other group all read write and execute this particular file new file.txt then we have to use two type of command first one is a ch mode and then the permission we can also use octal number and in case of normal user group and other we have to give permission plus it means we can give permission what type of permission read write and execute it means rwx and then the file name file name is the new file dot txt enter pass now check with the same command ls space i ld and the new file dot txt for permission now look at this line and the above line here so rwx it means rwx and rwx it means all user we give user three permission other three permission and the two different person or the other group same permission now denied this permission then in case of denied this permission then we have to put same command ch mode u0 u0 means user group and other denied ke liye yahan pe i use a uh, minus sign then read write x three permission then new file dot txt same now check the file permission now look at this first is for file and then then all nine character are denied permission so nobody can access or modify or run this particular new file dot txt we can also use octal number representation to give these files for example in case of file permission read write execute in for the user group and other we have to put 000 it means if we want to deny any permission then 000 it means octal representation we have zero if you want to just give the execute permission then we have to put one if you want to give only the right permission then it means octal number is two if you want to give just uh, write and execute permission then it means octal code is three if you want to give all permission to user group or other it means we have to put seven in each case is seven 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 so i can show you with the help of command now look at this uh, previously command we have uh, denied permission all type of denied permission like uh, for the new file dot txt now with octal representation how we can change this permission ch mode 7 7 7 and the new file name new file dot txt so look at this particular file with the permission ls uh, space 
ld and the new file .txt. Now look at this file. We have rwx, rwx and rwx. So in this way, also we can change the permission uh, with the octal representation and with also the uh, numeric representation also 777 new file .txt. So this is all about how we can change file permission of directory and uh, different files like normal files, text file, C program files, OAK files. So this is a very valuable thing for us to know about the file permission in Linux uh, because it is in case of multi-user environment we have to uh, secure our files from the other users to protect us from the unauthorized access. So bye bye from the PTU University student Rajendra Kumar Saini. Take care. All the best.